Yay. Well, it's the end of the season for me and that means cleaning this thing up and getting it ready to go for next season. This is the time I like to do the oil change, make sure the blades are sharpened, make sure it's just ready to go as soon as it comes out of the garage in the spring. This is a Toro Time Master and I just want to go through some tips and tricks and the process that I go through to get it ready for next year. Here we go. All right, she's gonna get a full service treatment today. She's gonna get all the love, oil change, cleanup, blade sharpening, basically everything that it needs so that when springtime comes back around and I'm ready to mow again, I don't have to worry about any of this stuff. It's just done, it's ready. So I'm gonna take you through all the steps here. It takes just a few minutes and show you a couple of tips and tricks and things that maybe you didn't even know about. So the first thing that you wanna do is uh, being the end of the year, uh, I like to run all the gas out of it and just leave it empty over winter. Another benefit of running out all the gas is the oil's gonna get nice and hot so that way when we suck it all out later when we change it, it'll come out a lot easier. Now to answer the question, when is the best time to do this? For the average homeowner, honestly, I would say whenever you can, as long as you do this at least once a year. For the oil change, you can probably get by once a year on the oil. Blade sharpening though, you're gonna wanna look for the signs of dull blades. So if you see frays on the end of your grass blades or if you touch the blade and it just feels dull, take them off and take five minutes to sharpen them. But as far as the oil change goes, the best time, honestly, spring, fall, whatever works easier for you. For me, it's the fall because I'm really busy in the spring and I just don't have much to do in the fall and I like the advantage of having everything done and ready to go for the next spring. So the best time to do it is whenever works for you as long as you do it. Easy as that. All right, now that the gas is all run out of this thing, I uh, am ready to drain the oil. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. You pretty much have two to three options. Number one, the manual recommends tipping it over on its side. Uh, and draining it out that way. So keep the filter up, keep the gas tank up, so drain it over that way. And you can drain all the oil out. I find that to be a little bit tedious and just kind of, I just don't like it. What I like to do is I like to vacuum out the oil. Uh, you can either make a homemade vacuum uh, with your shop vac and a couple of uh, mason jars. I've done a video on that before. I'll link it up in the corner. Uh, today I'm going to be using a manual pump fluid extractor. This is from OEM Tools. This thing is super cool. It's the same concept as uh, the vacuum setup, just no vacuum. You make the vacuum by pumping it. Uh, so that works out really well. It's This particular one is a gallon, almost a gallon and a half, so it's going to last a long time before I need to empty it out and I'll show you how it works and we'll get all the oil out of here and then we can get underneath. It doesn't get much easier than that. It's just over here now. You can see the oil's inside. I'm just draining out the line, letting gravity do the work, and then I'm gonna just raise it up and it will. the rest of it will fall into the tank. Easy as that. Now before I add new oil, now is a great time to tip the mower over and clean out underneath the deck, pull the blades off, sharpen them, put them back on, and then we'll add oil.
Okay, now that everything is cleaned up and put back together, now we can add oil. Now when it comes to oil, I like this Mobile One uh, Advanced Full Synthetic. This is a 10W30. And this is what I put in all of my lawn mowers and it's worked fine for me and it's been good. NASCAR! Well, there it is, ready to go into hibernation mode for the winter and wait to play again next spring. So that's nice to have done. And like I said, the reason that I like to do it in the fall, other than the fact that I have more time to do it, is it's, it's ready to go. Come spring, all I have to do is put gas in it and go. So taking the time now saves the time later. And that's, that's the biggest advantage for me. So I hope that's helpful for you. If you have any questions, um, I'll try to answer them in the comments below. But hopefully that's helpful for you and it's useful. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.